Hi, welcome back. Coming to the deep learning IIT Roper. Week 6, SR Man 6. Coming to the first question, we are using the following autoencoder with the linear encoder and linear decoder. The eigenvectors associated with the covariance matrix of our uh, data x, v1, v2, v3, v4, v5. What are the representations most likely to be learned by our hidden layer H? So, the option is uh, v1 and v2. Next, coming to the second question, what is the purpose of a decoder in an autoencoder to reconstruct the input data? What are the advantages of using denoising autoencoder? Robustness to noisy input data, reduction of the risk of the overfitting, faster training time. And what are the uh, given an autoencoder A? The average activation value of the neurons in the network is 0 0.06. The given autoencoder is Spurs autoencoder. Which of the following networks represent an autoencoder? Here we are having the some of the uh, neural networks in which we want to represent the autoencoder. Here 1, 2 and 4 options are the right options. Next coming to the, uh, if the dimension of the hidden layer representation is less than the dimension of the input layer, uh, then what kind of autoencoder do is under complete autoencoder. So, consider the scenario where we have a single data point with the features x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 taking minus 1, 2, 3.2, 5.6 and 0 respectively. In this case, which function must be suitable to use a output layer of an autoencoder for uh, training of the particular data set linear. If the dimension of the input layer in an over complete autoencoder is 5, what is the possible dimension of the hidden layer? It is approximately, it could be 8. What is the primary objective of contractive autoencoder that distinguishes them from uh, vanilla autoencoders? They capture only the important variations and features in the data. What are the possible applications of autoencoder? It can be data compression, extract of, uh, extraction of important features, reducing noise, all of these. So now you can submit your answers. Once you have submi uh, submitted the answers, you can see the assessment is submitted. If you have any doubts regarding the questions, you can comment in the comment box so that we can have more discussion regarding the questions. Subscribe the channel. Thank you.